today's call of the day. T2 Partners Managing Partner and CNBC contributor Whitney Tilson will reveal his latest long position. Whitney, it is good to see you. Um, BP, <laughs> why? It's just too cheap. Um, we, as value investors, we like situations where uh, everybody else is panicking, analysts are downgrading, headlines are horrible. Today's headline was one of the worst I've ever seen in the New York Times, uh, speculating about a bankruptcy filing. And what everybody's missing here is, is this is truly one of the most profitable businesses on the planet. They have managed to screw everything up. Uh, there's really no excuse, uh, 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 as best I can tell, in terms of allowing this disaster to happen. The PR has been horrific ever since. Um, and BP is going to pay uh, billions and billions, maybe even tens of billions of dollars for this, uh, uh, for this debacle. But what everybody is missing is, is this company consistently earns well north of $20 billion a year in profits. And right. keep in mind, all the damages are paid for with pre-tax money. So now we're talking close to $30 billion a year. And it's trading at five and a half times earnings, paying a 9% dividend yield. And it's hard to imagine the headlines getting worse, though this is not a short-term call. Uh, we fully expect the headlines to be horrible for a good long time. But the stock is just too cheap. Uh, you know, what strikes me about your argument, Whitney, is that you could have made that argument a couple weeks ago. You could That's have made right. it day 20 after the oil spill, day 30, day 40, et cetera. So you're fully prepared that this is going to get worse and that five times forward earnings valuation is actually going to get a lot cheaper and that dividend might actually cross 10. Um, you're absolutely right. That you, um, but things uh, at some point, things just get so ridiculous. Um, and we don't think they're going to have to cut the dividend. In fact, uh, the dividend's about $11 billion a year. Keep in mind, again, there, it's being funded out of uh, more than $20 billion a year of net income. And I don't think politicians are going to force them to cut the dividend either. Uh, keep in mind, this is one of the most widely held stocks in Britain. A dividend payer like this is owned by widows and orphans. Why would the British government, why would the U.S. government want to take $11 billion of cash out of the pockets right. of British widows and orphans. Right. That makes no sense. Hey, Whitney, uh, could, yeah. Whitney, is there anything that would shake you out of this trade, though? Is there any news that could come out that you'd say, you know what, we're wrong, we bottom fished, we were wrong on this one, and we're going to get out? Um, you know, the, the long-term danger here, the, the disaster scenario, and this is why it's a 4% <laughs> position, not a 10 or 15% right. position, is is the asbestos type of liability but i actually think for example the the asbestos analogy or uh the texaco filing for bankruptcy analogy right. many years ago due to a legal judgment right. um the the new york times article highlighted that but forgot to mention the shareholders weren't harmed when texaco filed for bankruptcy right. unlike there. most bankruptcies and that's a critical point bk Th bk i want to bring you in yeah, I, I mean, I guess my question is, is we're, we're living in a different environment here. So when you do your valuation, how do you value a government intervention or government policy at all? Sure. Um, well, look, the first element of government policy is going to be to make B BP pay billions of dollars for cleaning up. I was just reading the headlines today, 360 million there to put uh, sand berms up to protect the shoreline, 60 million uh, to the government of Louisiana there. But keep in mind, this company is earning almost $100 million per day, every right. single day of the year. So BP can afford to pay the, these costs. Okay, Whitney, always a pleasure. You heard it here, Whitney Tilson, newest long... BP.